If we take the working file software development, we can start to expand on the initialization that we've created by adding in our phases and our sections. So we know that we have four phases. Now a phase effectively is entered as a task to start with, and then it becomes a heading as we move forward and add in further items. So if I want to add in my four phases, I simply add them as four task names. Initiation, come down to the next task row, planning. And because I know that these are to be headings, so these are to be phase headings, I don't need to worry about the duration here. That will sort itself out. So I'm gonna leave that as the default, which is actually an estimated day. Third is execution. And then the fourth is close. So those are my four phases for my project that I've already decided and created. Within each of these phases, there are some subsections. So within the initialization, there are gonna be two subsections. So I need to go to the row below initiation. And I'd like to insert some more tasks. Now I can do that in a number of ways. I can press insert on the keyboard. I can right click here and choose insert task. You can see that inserts a blank one. Now I know there are two, so I might as well insert two. And then I simply type. We have meet clients and discuss needs. Now at the moment, these two sections are actually on a par with initiation and really they want to be subsets. So these two want to be sections within this phase. So I highlight both rows, so row two and three. And then on the task ribbon, within the schedule group, there is this little icon here that if you click, you can see that what it effectively does is it indents meet clients and meet needs to become sub parts of initiation. So now initiation is a heading. It's a summary task as far as project is concerned. And these two phases are going to be subtasks of initiation. So what I need to do for planning is come below planning and insert enough tasks by highlighting a number of rows and inserting, very much like Excel, and then entering each of the sections for the planning phase. So scope, requirements, gathering, dev plan, test plan, deployment plan, maintenance plan, acceptance, and then the actual project plan itself. I happen to have inserted too many, so we can delete this one by highlighting the row and then delete on the keyboard. Everything from scope down to project plan, that is to be the sections within the planning phase. So by highlighting from five to 12 and then doing the little arrow to the right option, effectively indenting these tasks, they all become subsections for planning. Now you can see how the indentation is going to work. We have initiation as a phase heading, planning as a phase heading, and then each of the sections within there. Requirements gathering has wrapped because it won't fit, but I can zoom widen the column so that it does fit. Over in the Gantt chart, we can see everything at the moment is defaulting to a day, so we get a blue bar for each of the days. And then the headings, these summary tasks, like a little overlocker icon, because that's going to stretch from the beginning to the end of that particular phase. So the same for execution, that's going to have a number of sections within it. So let's insert some tasks. Design, design tests, development, probably the largest part of the whole software development is the actual development. Tests, deployment. Now I don't have enough, so we need to insert another three. Quality assurance technical infrastructure, documentation, in fact, I need one more, and training. And then all of those are going to be the subsections for the execution phase. So I highlight 14 to 22, little right arrow, indents all of those to be subsections for the execution phase. Then we have the last phase, the closing phase, and I can add its two sections below there, maintenance and acceptance, and then simply indent both of those to be part of that phase. Now we have four phases. The little triangle there allows you to compress and hide everything in between, but the numbering doesn't change. Even though I'm hiding everything in the execution phase, the numbers still exist against each of the rows, so it's 14 to 22 are the sections within the execution phase.
So that's simply now starting to build the project plan. We've added in the phases and then we've added in the sections within those phases by inserting them below the phase heading and then indenting them once so they become subsections for that particular phase. So all of these items are subsections for the execution phase. These themselves will become section headings for a series of individual tasks. And that effectively is the next step.